Hello, hello everybody. Missed ya. Haven't filmed here in a minute. These guys are new. I mentioned them in one of my last videos. Please ignore that they're not centered over my clothing rack. They're centered to the wall, so I hope that's not too annoying. Anyways, welcome back to the second episode of Styling Your Style Cues. This is a series that I wanted to start on my channel and it basically came from, I did like a style fashion related Q and A and I got a bunch of questions of people asking to style certain pieces. I was like, okay, rather than like showing pictures or like talking about how I would style it, why don't I just show ya? So the first episode was on ties mainly. I also did a couple like boots or denim shorts cause that was a couple other questions that people had asked. But for today, as you guys know from the title, we're doing hats, we're talking about hats. Put on your party hat. You guys know I love hats. They're probably one of my favorite accessories to date. Yeah, so since I did my kind of like accessories collection video, I got a couple questions of people asking me to do hat style hats and stuff. And so, of course, I'm gonna do that. And so I'm making this my second second episode of styling your style cues, baby. I definitely wanna do transitioning your closet into fall, fall outfits, all that soon. So in the next videos to come, you'll definitely be seeing more of that. I feel like I'm not in that mindset just because it's still so hot out in New York and I'm still dressing very summer-like. So yeah, I'm excited to slowly get into the groove of fall because I love fall and I'm really excited for it. I have quite the hat collection. I keep a fun little storage tip is to get like those like vintage suitcases. I think I found mine literally at a Goodwill, but I'm sure they're sold on like Etsy or eBay or I don't know, anywhere. An old vintage suitcase cleaned it out and then and the suitcase now holds my hats and I think it's really cute. So anyways, <laughs> little storage tip. I guess let's just, let's just get into it, shall we? What's super fun about hats is that they genuinely vary in styles, obviously, but in also like fanciness, dressiness, whatever. And so I feel like that's always really fun to play around with too. Hats just have so much range, you know what I'm saying? So obviously I'm gonna have to show you a couple fits. Wow, a little scary with my bangs under there. Um, with a baseball cap, cause baseball caps are an OG hat, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like everybody's got a baseball hat um, and it might be like one you got in high school, one you got visiting colleges, your mom's old hat, your grandfather's old hat, whatever. I feel like, you know, you can still style them and make them super cool. A classic is like like those Princess Diana pictures, you guys know what I'm saying? Like a baseball cap to me is the epitome of like casual, chic, like running errands moment. People would say model off duty, but that's, let's be real you guys, that's literally just wearing tank top and jeans and looking like a model. Like I don't, Good God, the exposure. You know, like I get like cardigan, low waist jeans, like super hair blown out, little little purse or whatever. I get it, it's simple, it's very 90s, but you know what I'm saying? My off duty always just cracks me up because I'm like, wait, how is this a style? Anyway, I don't know what I'm going into and I don't know if that's gonna piss people off. What am I saying? Okay, baseball caps. That kind of like oversized blazer, denim jeans, sweatshirt underneath, cute graphic tee, good chunky sneak, a good boot. You know, it's a really good outfit for college, college classes. I think it makes you feel so chic and so cute. If you literally wear baggy jeans, a sweatshirt, which would just be like, okay, like you're a casual. You throw on an oversized blazer and a baseball cap, cute pair of sneaks and like a tote, kind of vibes. Like it just elevates the look and all, okay. I'm gonna shut up and I'm just gonna show you. Little tip, if you guys don't do this already, who who else be looking crazy putting on a tank top? Because this is just goofy. But y'all know that trick? It probably didn't even look like I literally did anything. I have makeup on, right? And if I'm putting on this white tank, you know, you already know concealer, fucking all that shit is gonna get on this part. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I hate that shit. And I used to have to use like magic erasers and wet it and like wipe it and it would just, you know, it would be so annoying. Now where I learned this, probably on TikTok or probably from a friend or something. You just put like a scarf over your head and then slip the shirt over until it's on your neck. And you literally don't have to worry about it anymore. I wanted to include these new pants that I got in this outfit video because I feel like they could be really cute with like a hat or a baseball cap or, you know, something. So I just have this plain white tank. Let me fill you in. Did I mention this in a... I think I did, but I cut it out because the video was too long, lol. I started going off about Hanes, but no, let me tell you. Targets sell Hanes tank tops in packs of like 10. Recently went to Target, 
stocked up on i think this is boys medium i think and then men's small tanks these ones are definitely longer but sometimes you like need a long one for like a low waist jean moment low waist skirt you can also cut these if you want like a raw hem or something but the boys ones literally fit cropped so cute and yeah i mean once you like put them on for the first time like once they're washed or whatever um and you haven't worn them and stretched them out yet and this is just how they fit me but it gets a little tight around the pits but loosens up like immediately when you put it on so they're kind of sheer but i kind of like that sometimes see the bra through i don't know but i'm telling you if you don't want to if you're like me and you don't want to shop at Brandy Melville for white tank tops anymore, but you need white tank tops because they're such a staple and you go through them like crazy because they fucking stain or get gross or just look grimy and lose their nice crisp whiteness, I'm telling you, Hanes. I also got tube socks, rib tube socks. Now I like always have socks that I can wear and it's fantastic and they're going to be great for fall. Anyways, I literally haven't even gone to an outfit yet. Okay. The hat we're going to be styling in this outfit is this new hat that I also thrifted along with these pants when I was in Ohio. It's just a Las Vegas merch hat. Again, never been to Vegas. I the collection of merch. We're just going to roll with this. I'm still trying to figure out hats with my bangs. So maybe this is the best time to be filming this video because I don't even know how to wear them now with my hair. But I'm going to shut the fuck up. Okay, here we go. These pants so are cute. They have, they're red and they have a navy stripe with white detailing and then they just have like a little i don't even know what this is what does that say can't read right now is that upside down or flip so they're just very cute they fit low waisted and they flare i think they look cute with this hat so this is like one of those very easy like let's run errands but like still kind of look cute outfits um also can like go hang out with friends get brunch nothing too crazy but again hats have so much range that i wanted to include like a really casual outfit so let me find shoes okay so basically just add like a platform flippy and it's cute casual with like a little bag you know just running errands vibes but very cute the red in the hat pulled out in the red in the pants same with the navy same with the white cute you could layer necklaces with it kind of fun you know that 90s like young jennifer aniston like this vibe very much casual but still cute I don't know we're gonna get more fashion as we get along with this video <laughs> but yeah baseball caps very cute okay and let me show you i'm basically just gonna change the pants and add a blazer and change the shoes and elevate this look to show you it's a good i'm telling you it's just a good college class fit in the winter going to school it's just like cool girl vibes sunny's on let me show you okay so i put on my go-to low waist denim jeans these i just thrifted they're literally falling apart so i'm gonna have to find a new pair of jeans that i love very soon throwing on this oversized blazer i put this on in literally almost every outfit video that just i feel like ends up always happening so layer oversized blazer over i just have these sneakers on they're my um nike air maxes but you know any sneaker works you can hit it with one of these you know, like a more stylish, fun baseball cap. You could do sporty. You know, go socks. Fuck the Yankees. Am I right? Cute. Just very, you know, cute and casual. Even with the, the Vegas one. You know, with a fucking, with a backpack. I'm literally just going to class. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Sorry if so much shit was coming out of my back. You could also, like, this doesn't have to be a white tank top. It could be, like, a cute graphic tee. It could be a sweatshirt. Let's see what it looks like with a sweatshirt. Let's get one. Sweatshirt just says Tokyo on it. Also so cute to have a collar peeking out. Very cute. Very preppy. Very fun. But, like, I super easy. And then you could do sneaker. You can do a loafer. Miss Loafer. Loafer vibes. You know but baseball caps great for this vibe also do like a vest moment underneath or waistcoat as one would say layer on top cute i like this is literally a hat video and i don't have a hat on cute right i mean and other like kind of like caps like this like a kangle hat would look really cute with this outfit let's see 
by Gloving. Backwards. Wow, wow, that was very much sideways. This energy. And if you guys are like, fuck you, Chloe, you literally wear that laser all the time. Like, give us range. Okay, cute. Call me crazy, but like, this isn't bad. I don't really have a hat with like neon green, but like, same vibe is cute. Graphic tee swapped out for the white tank. You could even do plaid little skirt moment. Sorry, cute. Throw on the blizzard. This is very preppy, right? We're very preppy. We're like, oh, schoolgirl, whatever. Psych. We just got cool. Giving. Also, we could do this guy. Mixing patterns. Don't be scared. Also, adding more pattern. Playing up the fucking schoolgirl even more. Tie moment. Let me tie. That was literally one of the fastest wins the ties I've ever done. But, you know, you get the vibes. <laughs> this tie just got its tweever. Look at it. Look at it. Love. Where's my hat? God, that's the point. Like, it's just funny. But in like a good way. I think I need to move on from baseball caps. Okay, next hat. The next hat category that we're gonna style is what I like to call the cap category. The caps, if you will. So, ha, no cap. Okay, the kangles in, the kangles in question, the caps in question are my two kangle babies. I love them very, very much and I want more. They make fur kangle hats. I'm like, okay, for the winter, yeah. This little guy, that, you know, there might be a better word. Actually, should I save this for fur? Yeah. Never mind. This kind of like newspaper boy cap. And then this one in leather. They're pretty much like the same exact style. When it comes to hats, maybe, a cap isn't what you first think of it's definitely like a baseball cap or a bucket hat or you know what i'm saying but these are really cool and really cool options and they literally look so cute with so many outfits like literally the outfit i have on this black cap would look so cute with the skirt okay so i took this skirt and ran with it but i need to say i just put on this top and it's so funny because it reminded me basically i had this fiasco i was so pissed about it so pissed about it basically i Got home late and I was wearing my blue sequin dress, this dress. You guys know the one. And um, I threw it in the wash, I did, with the rest of my clothes. Why am I doing laundry right when I get home when I should just be going to sleep? I don't know. That is just something I would do. Um, and when I opened my laundry, I immediately regretted that decision because those little fucking sequins got everywhere. All over this top. And I haven't worn this top since I must have done that laundry. I'm remembering the fiasco because I had to literally hand pick all the sequins off of all of the clothing. Here's just some of them that I've collected off of this. Sarky. This is good for fall coming up. I really like mixing plaids, like, you know, like the size of the plaid or the color that the plaid is in. I think it's like really fun. You know when Devil Wears Prada wear. Is it Miranda that says it? Hold on. Yeah, it is. When they're in that meeting and this girl's talking about the next issue and she mentions florals for spring and Miranda goes, florals for spring? Groundbreaking. It's so iconic, but I literally feel that way about plaid for fall, but it's still so iconic and you're obviously gonna wear it. So. I just recently thrifted it. I think it's very cute. I really like the length of it. It literally goes just to my kneecap. Black cowgirl boots on. I would maybe do like a different top under this. Like, I don't really know yet though. Like, what would I do? I really like the shawl with the skirt. And then the boot moment with the black hat. And again, do you guys remember when I was trying this hat on in one of my other videos and I like flipped it around and I freaked because I was like, that's cute. And then this cap also works. Pretty cute. Not as cute. I don't know. I don't really love this hat as much. There's not enough volume. Like I really like the volume of this one where this one's just so much flatter. You feel? Okay, this is another cute look with the cap. So, okay, ignore the fact that I can't get the zipper over this like seam. 
whatever. But this dress is one of my new fave dresses because look at that collar. Look at that collar. Exactly. It's giving Spider-Man. It's like, I'm calling it my Mary Jane dress because it's like, you know, spider web vibes and it's like a cute little proper collar dress and like Mary Jane's very like, you know? <laughs> you know, Mary Jane from Spider-Man. You guys, you guys know what I'm saying. It's my Spidey Mary Jane dress and I love it. It doesn't have a brand name. I thrifted at Bomb Shelter in Ohio. If you guys are ever in, I think it was in Akron. In that area, you need to go. That store was so cool. I'm going to wear another dress that I got from there as well, styling one of my fur hats and I can't wait to show you guys and I cannot wait to wear it, but it's long sleeve. So definitely needs to get cooler out before. But this is super cute. I definitely want to wear this like once it hits October because it's a very cute little Halloween-y dress. I have it on with my sparkly butterfly boots because like, I don't know, butterfly, spider, insect. I think it's really cute. This looks cute with the cap. Obviously do some earrings, you know the vibes, but okay. Now I'm gonna have to struggle to get this off. It's a tight one. you were just getting neutrals you thought I was gonna be realistic with this honestly I don't know what I'm wearing I don't really know what's going on here but I know that I do kind of like it this I'll have to see what the brand is and I put on this skirt to plan a different outfit with like tights and other fun crazy shit then I was like then this just this just occurred it ended up on my body and here we are and then of course I had to add the boa because it matched some of the green in here. Duh. Where are we going? Fun. This top is from this brand right here. The skirt I thrifted. It's like an old cheerleader skirt. I think you could turn it inside out to be honest, which is really cute. Both of my Kangol hats I got from Trash and Vaudeville. But I feel like with this, you could also do like low-key like any hat with like some red in it. Does this look ridiculous? Let me see. Yeah, it like kind of does. Okay, maybe not. Well, this might be cute. Like a cheerleader. I think it's fun. I honestly think these are cool outfits. I'm really into these materials right now. Anything that reminds me of cult form. If you haven't checked out cult form, I would like to make an announcement now that if I had more money, that would be all I'm wearing this fall and winter. And got a job recently. Wait, I need to update you guys. I really do. I'll talk more about it in the vlog. That'll be the next video, but it's part time. So, you know, we're working on it. But Cult Form, like one of the greatest brands out there, like I'm obsessed with their shit. And I really want their pants so bad. So bad. And I have a vision for an outfit. I just need those pants to complete it. But for now, I'm gonna keep buying things that remind me of them and trying to convey that same vibe while also not spending like 200 to $300 on a single pair. I would buy like at least four, five, and then a skirt and then a matching top. It's, I'm obsessed. I literally have the website up on my laptop right now and I just look at it to like make me smile, but I can't afford it. It's trash. It really is a tragedy, you guys, but okay. Back to this outfit. I wouldn't wear it with this bra. I'm just like putting it on over. Okay, let's do more outfits. We're getting crazy. Okay, I just literally caught a vibe and ran with it. Like I have no idea what this outfit is, but I kind of like it. Again, it's giving me like Scooby-Doo. Like I feel like a character in Scooby-Doo would literally wear this. If I wear this belt with like bottoms or like a material like this gives me very much cult form vibes but still not there yet again still styling caps so i have my pink kangle hat on to continue the pink pops in the outfit then we have red too which i love like we could do a red bag a red lip just like random pops of colors that don't make sense or like aren't the main repeated color you guys know i love that this outfit needs time to marinate. Okay, next outfit.
because this is giving. This juxtaposed with the risque, just childishness of this shirt with like the golfer cap is so funny to me. And then these were literally glasses that my sister bought to be a fisherman for Halloween one year. And I found them in her room and I was like, can I have these? Literally gonna wear them for style. My brothers stay clowning me for like loving the Guy Fieri um, like reflective glasses. The like millions of pairs that I bought at um, like a shit shop and gas station glasses, like very like athletic running glasses or just like, you know, classic guy. They keep shitting on me for it, but I am addicted to wearing those glasses. I think they make every outfit look cooler in just a moment. That's like such a big thing for me right now, those glasses, if you're wondering. Definitely gonna be wearing them in the fall and the winter. Honestly, my goal for the fall and winter, I think is to not die down when it comes to like my colors and fun patterns and like things like that because I feel like then more than ever is when I need it the most, you know? Cause everything is so drab, like grayscale. Like I'll look at my Instagram or just like pictures back from like the fall and the winter, just when New York is like an ice box for like four months. Everything is so gray and drab and sad. So my goal is to just not let that affect my style and outfits and stay fun and fruity. And I feel like these glasses are gonna be a good way to add humor and fun to my looks anyways here's another outfit with the cap got this thrifting but you can find these anywhere okay literally not me almost falling i need to like that was bad acting scene i was gonna wear my little daisy dukes under that under this shirt but then i just ended up hiking up the skirt love these i gotta wear these you guys before it starts getting cooler that me contradicting every Thank you. Thank you. Every statement I made about wanting it to be fall, I need it to stay warm so I can just knock these bitches out and then it can get cool. I remember when I dragged on my channel girls wearing tank tops like this over their bathing suits, but now I'm doing it, so. Hypocrite. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. I like how this vest really matches the hat real nice. And I think the skirt's cute with the purpleness underneath. I don't know, kind of fun, kind of cute. No, do we hate it? Again, this is another moment where I'm like, I'm genuinely just pulling stuff out of my closet and trying to style hats on the spot for you guys. So if we hate these outfits, we hate these outfits. That's okay. We're just trying things out. This is essentially what I'm just trying to say. There's no like exact way to style hats or there's no exact way I style hats. It's just, this is how I style hats. It just comes to be, if that makes sense, you know? The outfit just, I just regurgitate it. That was gross. Okay, it's time for me to take this skirt off and switch up the vibe so we can get new fits. So it's beret time because I have a lot of berets. So that's, they're their own section. My other like tan one is still in the bin. It's like not that exciting. So I don't want to even bring it out really. So I'm styling the black one. I like range with how I like to style berets. Like I like the whole, the whole like put it on the back of your head like that's cute but i also like the um the like over the forehead one I like do the classic beret for this outfit okay this is a little out of my comfort zone i don't know it's just a lot of black and like a big kind of billowy silhouette i think it's really cool like i think i'll wear this for sure i don't really know what i'm saying but you guys get the gist um let me show you, let me tip you down so you can actually see the skirt. Like knee length skirt that I got at the thrift the other day. And it's like pleated if you can see. And it's supposed to be like straight pleats, but of course it's wrinkly. So I really like the volume. I like the length with it, with this kind of like shawl moment thing. I think it's super funky. I have for shoes, just my Harley Davidson, like platform clog moment. Um, I don't know i think this is cool i wore this with like low waist cargos and like a kitten heel but i think this is cool to just go like big and oversized with it um i don't know i feel like it's quite cute i like pairing any kind of like classy or like posh outfit put a beret on it it's just like so fun you know because you're like maybe i am trashy 
Also, if anybody's wondering how my Duolingo summer is going, my I'm learning French summer. Well, I had a really great streak. I was doing amazing and then shit hit the fan kinda and then I stopped doing it, but now I'm back. I'm back on my roll, okay? I promise, I'm gonna get better. It's very much like, I don't know. I like it though. That skirt, by the way, is one of the new thrifted items that I'm showing you guys. It actually has a brand on it and the brand is Banana Republic, if you were wondering. Again, to contradict what I just said, I love doing that. Um, putting a beret with outfits that are like, ironically just very not chic or like not fashion or like fashion forward, if you get what I'm saying, is also very like cute to me. I think it's like funny, but it's like cute. I say that all the time, like it's funny, but like, I feel like if somebody French saw me in a beret and Adidas track pants and platform Crocs, they would probably come back after I'm dead and spit on my grave. Okay, well let me show you the outfit. We're matching the stripe with the beret. It's giving me like step up vibes, as if they look like this in step up. Reel it in, Chloe. White tank again and a beret, you know? Because why not? Because why not? Okay, beret's got range. They do. Beret has range. Now I'm in this fun little long ass dress. Got at Beacon's Closet. I can't even lift my leg up. Got at Beacon's Closet. I'm wearing, them, wearing it with my loafers and high socks. But it's cute. It's just like a floor length dress. And love the collar on it. I think this orange beret is really cute with it. And like some cute sunnies. I think if I wore my orange tights with this, that could be really cute for fall. Like, why is that so funny to me? Like, it doesn't make sense and it like literally is stupid, but like with the bag. Yeah, okay, that, this may be too much. Nope, I literally like it actually. Anyways, I love this dress. I think it looks so good with a lot of hats. Let me show you. This hat goes with everything. I think you guys need a hat style this fall winter. It's perfect. Perfect to me. This was a classic of mine. It's so fun and so comf. You know what I'm saying? This is like, I do this all the fucking time. This hat is from Amazon, unfortunately. I know, I really don't want to support, but um, I am going to link it in the description for you guys. Not for Jeff Bezos, but for you. Okay. Okay, I've literally saved the best category of hat for last. And that's a fur hat, baby. This dress, okay, this is the dress. This is the other dress that I got at um, Bomb Shelter in Ohio. I'm obsessed with this dress. To me, this dress is very perfect and I actually cannot wait to wear it in the fall. I'd, I would tie this bow in the back, but I don't have much um, shoulder whatever and nobody's here to help me tie it. So bear with me, picture it nice and cinched. But isn't this dress like, I know some people are gonna hate this, which I like, I kind of love that about it. To me, it's so perfect. Like, I was so excited when I found it. It's floor length, and I'm wearing it with loafers right now, but I feel like I wanna do something more interesting on the shoe, on the foot, when I actually wear it, but I know I'm def gonna wear it with like a hat of some sort. I wore this hat with this peach dress that was sent to me by the Sage Vintage on Instagram. Again, no tag, no nothing. It is the most perfect, like this is another dress that I'm just like literally obsessed with. Floor length, so good. Because I think these types of dresses look so good with like a big ass fur hat. Like there's something so powerful about like a peasant pilgrim very much. I don't know, like what are these dresses giving? Why can't I like think of that time period right now? This is like, I'm, a, I'm gonna turn your butter vibe. It's like Pilgrim, but like it had style. Like Pilgrim discovered plaid, you know? This is definitely like a little bit more Victorian vibes, but like still Pilgrim-y. But this with this hat looks so good. Here's an Instagram picture. To me, it looked good. I liked it and I thought it was really fun. But I obviously, I'm well aware, not everybody's gonna wanna wear this together, but I had to include it because I love a statement, fun, period piece, if you will, dress. And with the fur hat, you guys know I love this hat. I got this at Cure Thrift, which is opening up very soon. It's a new location, by the way. Check it out. 
Um, yeah, this is amazing. Don't look at the bow. Like, I think I need to wear this. Love it. I literally love it so much. <laughs> this has me dead. The robot works really well, dress. Because, I don't know, it just makes my... Is this the robot? Yeah, I guess if you add that situation into it. It works really well because it just makes it look sharp. Or I just have a sharp elbow, I don't know. But the shoulders work. What the fuck, why am I? Speaking of crochet, I'm, I wouldn't wear this hat with this. I just thought that would be funny to see what it looked like. But speaking of crochet, my friends have a crochet Instagram and they do custom pieces, all that jazz. Check it out. My aunties, crochet by aunties. Follow them and message them if you want a handmade crocheted top hat bikini anything anything they're really affordable really affordable i know this doesn't come as a hat that's why i literally threw it on but i just had to show you this dress that i got at bomb shelter as well in ohio floor length she's perfect love it it was like 20 bucks the prices there were so good Okay, y'all knew this hat was coming. I think, I mean, this hat is really cute with like other green stuff and like to be matchy matchy and I love that. Uh, but I don't have a bunch of green to be honest. I do, but I, I do, but I don't. First off, I was like, okay, I think this hat could look really cool with my Tora Lily pants, which you guys know the ones. Wore them in um, Miami and I haven't worn them since so i definitely also need to before it gets too cold to wear them so you know definitely definitely transition piece uh considering the cutouts but um i don't know i think this outfit is pretty cute it's giving like i don't know going to like a concert it's definitely weird but i like it a lot i also think this outfit could be cute with my fluffy fluffy book hat Again, I don't know where I'm going in it, but I think it's really cute. I like it with the green hat a lot. And I paired it with my Crocs, but I wouldn't do the Crocs. I would do something else. But um, I think these boots could be cute with it, honestly. If I did the um, white hat or something, these boots are Steve Madden. They're pretty fucking cool. And I really wanted white boots. So I'm excited to style these. Just throw these out there. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I love this hat and it's amazing oh it's from for you only uh this is instagram i love it love all their stuff and then again tour lily wow didn't mean to slap my thigh like that so aggressively this top i thrifted I do love wearing it with this pom pomage because it literally looks like she's wearing the same scarf so we go like this at a concert Hey. But like, you get it, you get the vibes. You throw on like fall coat, winter coat, take it off. You at the concert, at the party, keep the scarf on cause it's a vibe. So my battery is about to die and I'm done. Most of my hats are covered the categories, I guess. I don't know how much inspo y'all can get from this video cause it was me just kind of like going crazy in my closet. But I thought about doing this as I was making this video that like while I'm wearing the hats, I will just like throw up pictures of me wearing the hat in other ways. So it adds more inspo and more variety of ways that you can wear that hat, more outfit ideas and stuff like that. But again, I love me some hats. I definitely recommend um, getting you some new fun hats. Um, it definitely opens up like new kind of like ideas when it comes to styling and layering and wearing different things you might you might not think go together or whatever. Where are my favorite places to get hats? I guess it's a good question. I mean, Trash and Vaudeville has a lot of Kangol hats, which I love. So Kangol's a great brand. I love For You Only. I literally love this hat so much. That Amazon hat. I don't recommend shopping on Amazon. The reason why I got that hat was because it reminded me so much of Emma Bruin's hats. If you don't know Emma Bruin, follow her, check her out. Her hats are fucking amazing. They're so expensive and I just, it's not my price point. And so I hate that I have to buy like a mock of hat because I also don't support people like stealing other people's designs, sort of different from um, her hats. But I truly am manifesting the ability to go ahead and buy myself an Emma Bruin hat because I would literally die to own one of those. One of my favorite hats, like, or types of hat, kind of hats. 
styles of hats of all time. Rihanna wears them all the time. Probably so shocked I didn't do like a cowboy hat section. I mean, for me, I do wear them a bunch, but mainly at the beach or in like party settings. I need like a good solid cowboy hat that's like leather or, you know, suede that actually I can like wear with jackets in the winter and stuff like that. So I'm definitely on the hunt for that. I get a lot of hats at like street vendors. So street vendors are great, I think personally, especially when you're trying out a new style or a new color, something bold, like one of those colorful berets. I got them at a street vendor. I got the green and the orange one together as like a deal or something. It was like two for 10 or something crazy. So that's also a really good place to check out hats. Same with baseball caps, thrifted a bunch of hats too. And what I do is I can wash them, throw them in the wash, I'll throw them in the wash, but I'll also have a spray bottle of rubbing alcohol and like a little bit of water and um, spray it down as much as I can to try to kill all the bacteria. Anyways, wow, this is a long outro. Okay, people. Well, I hope you enjoyed the second episode of me styling your style cues hat edition. I will definitely do this again when it's more winter time so I can like bring out the jackets and the layering and all of that. That's super fun. I can't wait for that. Oh my God. So yeah, stay tuned for next week's vlog. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a long one too. So all of you guys that were bummed about my 10 minute video last week. I know I was bummed too. It felt weird. Long vlogs will be back next week and then fall content, fall outfits, all of that jazz is also coming up. Okay. Well, I love you guys very, very much and I will see you in my next video. If you have any questions on where anything was from or whatever, DM me or comment, etc. I tend to forget to tell where things are from or if they're thrifted, I just like don't even mention it. So if you're wondering, do feel free to ask. Okay, see you in my next fit, cuties. Damn it, I wanted to make like a hat pun. Hats off to you if you got to the end of this video. Mm -hmm.